Good morning. Happy New Year. Except it really isn't morning. It feels like it. I feel like I'm dressed up like the Michelin man. Yeah. It's in the minuses. Yeah. It's Winter rather cold. Yeah, winter cycling. It's a bit busier than I expected, so I think we'll uh, take the back roads. Mike's on the orange bike, the old monster that's been adapted, changed, improved. And um, I'm back out on the, uh, the monster. Hopefully. The drivetrain is going to behave itself from now on. Let's enjoy this lovely new bike path, seeing as I'm on it. Oh, it does know we're here. There we go. We have a car, though. There was a car the other side, so... I'm confident that it would know if a cyclist was there on their own, because yeah. it has an ASL, but... Until you try it. So I would guess this will be a shared pedestrian and uh, bike path because there's a lot of businesses along here. A lot of commuters come through here. And uh, the road is not the best. It's not the widest, if you know what I mean. So. And because of the businesses you do get lorries come down that road so we'll see how this works out i didn't want to get my boots that dirty yet no, we'll, we'll that looks like ice <laughs> oh it's so weird i expected to dig into the mud there and it was absolutely solid <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we'll get back to the road, yeah? There's lots of people in there. I think we'll give them room. The monster mountain bike conversion. It's got 650B by 47. So, uh, yeah, pretty good actually for this. Almost back to the road. Yeah, we are actually just about to hit Wheeler's Lane. Even though I say it's quite a small area in here, there's actually quite a lot of riding. And uh, there's certainly trails and that that have been sort of created by mountain bikers that we haven't tried. Anyway, Julie's having trouble with her new cleats. <laughs> and now she's got them in, she's going to have to take them out again. <laughs> the main thing is they come out easily. So, otherwise things could be a bit different. It's quite funny actually, because even though this is a big wide lane, everybody's playing dodge the puddles. So that makes it quite small. We're about to come back on Wheeler's Lane. <laughs> Thank you. And there we go, Wheeler's Lane. This brings us down onto the Camford Magna Road. Well, it's actually called Magna Road. Heads out towards Wimborne. We won't go down into Wimborne, but uh, we'll then turn back towards Poole. Yeah, don't leave maps or routes to me. Half the time I don't know where I am.
but it looks icy here but this area is generally colder than where we are because where we are we're a bit closer to the sea and that does have an effect on the temperature so when you look at the temperature for Bournemouth it might say minus two minus three whatever it is but generally down in town and within a mile of the beach it's usually a couple of degrees warmer So we'll take a little gander down the trailway and again if it's too busy we'll um, leave the dog walkers to it and find an alternative. Yeehaw! Happy New Year to everybody. My first yeehaw of 2021. Thank you. So this part of the trailway is really wide. Shouldn't be an issue going down here. Uh, we'll have to reconsider when we get to Broadstone because it gets a bit narrow after that. Broadstone golf course through there. So I'm doing a little bit of an experiment with the Hero 7 today. I'm wearing it on the chest so it's totally isolated from the bike or as isolated as it can be. Yeah, so I just want to see if that sort of tapping, sort of clicking noise is still there. And uh, whether it is the frame, or maybe the microphone's loose in the camera body, or something's loose in there. Cause... So it does seem to be a constant ticking noise, wherever I mount it. Thank you, Mike. What? My Christmas present. Yeah. They're lovely. That is possible. My wahoo doesn't tell me what the temperature is. That's on purpose because I don't really want to know. That's how close we are to the road. And of course, in the winter, you can see that. In the summer, this is so dense through here that actually you can hear the traffic, but you wouldn't know it was that close. Yeah, you can, really yeah. Nice little bit of echo there. <laughs> anyway, this could be muddy at the bottom of here, so actually we should have got on the road there. We try not to get too mucky today. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, we'll see. Not too bad here. All right, watch out for the roots. Okay, they can mess your day up real quick. Thank you. So of course the good thing about being really cold is that the mud is not nearly as sloppy as usual. <laughs> it's definitely New Year's Day. It's half past two, quarter to three in the afternoon and people are still saying good morning. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Pass you on your left. Thank you. Thank you.
So I think today's rise turned out a little bit different to what we expected. Uh, we thought it'd be icy, maybe not such pleasant conditions. Actually, it's, it's cold for sure, but it's not that cold. I'm only wearing two layers and um, it's not that icy at all. The riding's quite good, so we've ended up going a bit further in a different way than um, possibly expected. Very noticeable difference in the battery life today with the GoPros. <laughs> so the temperature is having an effect, even in the, uh, the foam windshields that should be protecting them. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we went from no people <laughs> to this. <laughs> oh well. There's no other way through here unfortunately, so we'll just do our best to stay out of the way. Are you cold, Mr. Wheeler? No, not particularly. No? That's no. good. That's good. So this is sort of the official Route 25 across town. So when the uh promenade is shut in uh, July and August. This is the route we would take. And uh, it doesn't do bad at avoiding the hills actually, but there are one or two that you will have to go up, like this next one. <laughs> but actually, once you're up this one, it's not too bad. Mike's found a nice hill for us to go up here. This one's not actually that bad. A little bit steep here, but then it sort of rounds off and the rest of it's quite simple. Now this is the suspension bridge. So we go. Oh. And it bounces. <laughs> <laughs> These tires sound funny on this bridge. That's the sea. There's the pier. A little bit murky out there today. I'm getting abuse. Apparently I've got a dirty bum. <laughs> you see my yee -haw? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I've been in enjoying playing with my new tool. <laughs> now I think I'd better rephrase that. We bought a cricket, a cricket, however you want to call it. And um, let's just say, we have quite a few stickers around the house. <laughs> Julie's been making iron-on patches. So we can make stickers, we can do iron-on, and that's what I've done for my yeehaw on my hat. I've done an iron-on. So I'm using some of those hydraulic hybrid brakes on this now. And um, as we've been riding along, I have to say they're bedding in and they're feeling quite nice now. What I would say is that uh, they would definitely benefit from some uh, compressionless, uh, I'll say it properly in a minute, they would definitely benefit from some compressionless cable outers. Uh, but because uh, I see they get some, uh, some bad reviews, well not bad reviews, but some people are sort of saying they're not as good as I expected, this and the other. That could be just because people's expectations, but I would say compressionless outers would make a big difference. Um, I used ordinary cable outers just because that's what I had. Uh, they're working quite well, and as they've bedded in on the ride, definitely improving. Quite confident in them for sure. Yeah, like a mill pond. Like a mill pond, look. Yeah. No surfers today. Hardly any winds, so no wind surfers, no kite surfers. But uh, there'll almost certainly be some swimmers in there somewhere. <laughs> At one end of the beach or the other. In fact, I think I could see some just the other side of the uh, just the other side of the pier. So you nearly always see some swimmers. All, all yeah, every day of the year there'll be one somewhere. Somebody said it was 10 degrees, didn't they? 
10 degrees. That's not bad, actually. Sometimes it's warmer than that in the, uh, yeah. in the winter because we get the Caribbean um, tides. No, not tides. Currents. This will be a test for the brakes. But uh, anyway, the front one needs adjusting, actually. I quite like the adjustability on them, in truth. It's quite nice. But yeah, no, they're pretty good. Even with my weight pushing them on. Which one will I choose? I think there's been about four today. I'll have to see which one sounds the best. Food deliveries, hopefully doing well, considering they can't have all their bookings that were booked today, as we're now in tier four. All right, so let's have a look. No, everything's been shut down, look. Everyone's sticking to the tier four rules by the look of it. Not very many people here at all. So Julie's just told me that somehow, not quite sure how, we've managed to do 800 feet of climbing. But um, I suppose thinking about it, the pool side of town is definitely hillier. So uh, shouldn't be that much of a surprise, I suppose. We're probably going to end up with about 25-ish miles. We'll see. But, uh, nice little sort of New Year spin. Bit chilly, but actually not too bad the conditions at all, really. It's dry. It's dry, yeah, that's the main thing. Yes, looking at the um, COVID restrictions for Tier 4, it says exercise is unlimited. I'm not quite sure what that means, but... Uh, there are definitely some that are guidelines. There are definitely some that are rules. And there are definitely some that are laws. And it does actually sort of, by reading the wording, you can work out which ones are which. I said it stayed dry. I think I just jinxed it. I think you did too. Oh. I've carried the cup the whole way around, so I want to use it. <sighs> Julie is still insisting on her coffee and probably a mince pie or something, so uh, that's fine by me. So down the high street to coffee one. Uh, where's she gone? Was that Julie? She might have stopped to put a light on. I stopped to put my lights on, but my fingers are so cold, I couldn't press the buttons. <laughs> so Mike's had to wait for me. I take it you stopped to put your lights on? <laughs> yeah, then I couldn't do it because my fingers are too cold. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right. Coffee. Coffee and mince oh, pie. Wow. Yeah? <laughs> right. Could be sharp. Sure. Food lights are on, but oh, yeah, there's people in there. Doors open. This is good news. If you want to know what difference mud guards make, yeah, it's pretty clean. I would say, pretty much everywhere. And then there's that. The SRAM rival, one by. It hasn't played up today. I mean, I really did do a number on it, so stripped it down. Got the ruler out, you know, made sure everything was square and as it should be. 
and um, it's behaved very well today. Having said that, we didn't really get mucky today and that's when it really kicks off. And when we did get mucky, they did skip once or twice. I, mean, I don't know, it could be anything. But uh, thumbs up, I'm feeling hopeful. <laughs> Coffee and bikes is great. Coffee on bikes is rubbish. We need to get one of those uh, carriers that Richard's got. Yeah. yeah, Richard's got a great carrier for his bike, so he has coffee on his bike quite regularly. Works really well. Oh no, I'm losing the coffee. Bit bumpy this road. <laughs> well, I carried the coffee cup the whole way round, so I was going to fill it up. <laughs> uh, there we go, it's filled with coffee. Slightly leaking, but hopefully you'll get home all in one piece. <laughs> well, it looked to be still in there. I think she's still got her coffee intact. Just the speed humps to negotiate. All right, we've got a couple of uh, sleeping policemen to go over. So doing it slowly to avoid losing my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> 